Jesus. Ooh. Ah. Hello and welcome to this new Friday vlog. This is really a vlog because I'm holding the camera with my hand. This week uh, I have actually done a lot and a lot and a lot of printing. If we pan to my wonderful tabletop table, um, these are some files in the screwdriver for some reason. Um, I printed, let's get some light, <clears throat> printed these two. Things, I mean, white PLA just shows detail, kappa, but it actually kind of shows because of the shadows. Printed these two pieces. This took 18 hours, and this one took like one and a half days. This will be uh, with a support video, because I had issues with my SVO3, and this is the fix, because a motor cable was actually broken, and they sent me a replacement part for free, which is pretty nice. Then I printed out a custom mini. We had a campaign and this was one of our players. Like me and the DM, uh, he got me to 3D printing. Um, we will make like a piece of terrain where we put all the miniatures but kind of scaled up as statues to remember because it was a very good campaign. We played from level one to level 20 in like two years. We will go downstairs in a bit and I will show you um, what, what the last print is. I will link you the terrain pieces in the description. Also the wet palette video went online. If you are interested in, interested in what a wet palette is or how to use it, it is a small video. Um, it's not the best explanation but it is how I do it and um, like, I'm not super professional, I know that, but I'm planning to be in the future. I will, I need to look into actually making uh, this YouTube channel into a business because, as you may know, I sell on eBay and in Germany, technically, technically I'm committing tax fraud, but it's kind of a gray area. If you plan, if you plan on selling something on a regular basis that is essentially a shop or in Germany you say Gewerbe, which is like having a shop, uh, I need to do that. But I first have to contact the consultant of my uh, of my choice. I had two bigger orders. One guy ordered like 70 bases, which is pretty nice for me. But I don't have the big pouches. I, I have only these small ones, which are great for smaller orders, but kind of bad for bigger orders. I'm planning on getting uh, bigger <coughs> briefcases because they are like still in the same price range, but. But I, I need like the padded ones because I don't like my things breaking while shipping. A friend of mine asked me to... Like, he essentially put an order in for me. I will show a picture right here. Uh, this is a box where you can put Star Wars lean and stuff. And I will show you some minis that uh, he told me to print downstairs. As you may hear, <coughs> our big boy is working. If I can get my shoes on so my feet don't freeze to death. Here you can see the big boy working. Um, as you can see, I have a tiny bit of uh, in inconsistencies with a Z offset, but it is working. Um, we are currently one day, one day and 14 hours in. I had issues with the Everyone Marble PLA. It clogged up horrible and I'm not planning on using it uh, again because I don't have time because I need to print a ton of stuff. But I ordered three types of PLA from 3D Jake. I'm going to test them. Uh, I have one in orange, grey and gold. Yeah, I'm looking forward to testing those. You know that feeling when you pour resin into your bed and you think, huh, that's maybe a little bit too much? And then you push your luck. This is how it looks like. It was perfect. So this is what I did this week. I mean, nothing special. I'm still in the exam phase. That is why there are not a lot of videos coming out. You can put 
some pictures right here. Uh, these are minis I printed for a friend. And uh, on the left you can see my printed minis and on the right you can see the bought minis. And they look quite... Uh, compared in detail, they look uh, quite good. And this, this was with my Elego Mars, not with the Mars 2 Pro that is broken, uh, which I'm getting replacement parts to. Because I essentially stupid broke mine, it is very hard to get replacement parts. Because I managed to break the ball bearing part of the ball bearing that is connected to the linear rails. I reached out to them, they said um, it was fine and they are sending things my way. I hope it will be all I need. I'm currently refining the the design of the DM size dice tray. The player size is perfect. This is this one. I've looked into adding leather uh, into the bottom but I'm still figuring out how to um, how like essentially how to make the stencil so I can cut out the leather. Doing a lot of printing this week and the past week my friends are bombarding me with orders. At this point I kinda wish I didn't give my genius away. Okay, it was broken. So that's it for today. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Maybe leave a like. If you would be so kind, if you want to support me, go into the video description. There are affiliate links for you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye and happy printing.